Hi, Banzo Crown Music here. Hope you're all doing really well. I thought I would do a tutorial this week for you on how to import multi samples into VPS Avenger. Let's start as we always do from scratch. Right click memory and choose initialize. Gives you the default sound. The thing that I would do generally first before importing multi samples is to create my own custom expansion um, into which these samples can be imported. So if you haven't got your own custom expansion, you can right click in the expansion window and choose create a new custom expansion and then name it what you like. I've named mine sample import and just click into it. Then to import the multi samples which you want to import, now click on the file tab and navigate to the folder where you saved your multi samples you want to import. And you can see mine are in here, ladder base. It's actually quite important how you name your folder. VPS Avenger will name your multi sample after the name of your folder in which they're stored. Just be aware of the naming convention here. They should all be named with an underscore and then the name of the MIDI note just afterwards. That's very important. Now then, just a little note here. How many multi samples should you do per octave? The answer can vary. For example, for, for pads which are washed out and with lots of reverb on them, you might get away with one or two samples per octave. But generally speaking, I would say a pretty good target which you should aim for is about four multi samples per octave, sometimes even three. But for very detailed instruments, uh, you might want to increase that amount. So what Avenger is doing here between C1 and D sharp one, it's working out for you what the samples should sound like in between. Also, a common question is, what sample rate and bit rate should the multi samples be? You should be aiming at 44,100, 32 bits. Some people could argue that 48,000 or even 96,000 should be where you're aiming. But I think you've got to have an extremely good ear to notice a big difference between these sample rates. And if you're streaming online, which probably most of us are, it invariably gets mixed down to 44,100 anywhere. So that's my opinion on sample rates. Now then, how do we actually do the import? You right click on the folder name, convert to multi sample, go down to sample import and just import into the root. And now when we look in samples, go down to sample import, you will see our sample here which we just uh, imported, BC ladder base. In our next video, part two, I'll show you how to insert loop points into your multi samples, which will be very useful for pads and some leads. I hope you found this useful. If you have, hit the like button and subscribe for more Avenger tutorials and free presets. Until next time, stay well. Cheers.